dear students welcome back to our channel dr kamali john kasaragod in this video we are going to learn a new chapter standard 4 unit 5 the elves and the shoemaker it's a prose do you know what is a prose prose is a verbal or written language that follows the natural flow of speech it is the ordinary language people use in speaking or writing now we are going to learn the chapter elves and the shoemaker it is a prose and when going through this chapter you will know you will understand what is a prose very clearly prose is a simple language nothing artificial it's just like how we are speaking hmm? how ordinary people speak it's all about ordinary language and what are the features of a prose elements of prose there are five elements they are character plot setting theme and style you have already learned about character who are characters katha patrangal the characters of a story for a prose there will be characters and then plot what does it mean by plot plot is what is happening in that story setting what does it mean by setting it is where and when this story take place where is the story taking place and uh, when is it happening and theme why is this happening hmm? and style is how does this story goes dear students now we are going to an interesting activity it's a coloring activity you can see a picture is given in your textbook there are three instances and you can color according to your wish look at these pictures what do you see in the picture what are they doing who all are in the picture how they help each other do you like to help others what are the ways that we can help others do you expect anything in return from others while helping as you see the children in the pictures are engaged in various household activities like washing dishes helping brothers or sisters in their studies etc you have already seen the pictures what did you see in the picture who is in the picture you can see some boys and girls some elders what is he doing who is helping the girl in the first picture you can see two children are playing together they are spending each other's time and uh, they are making out their time for helping each other by playing and in the second picture you can see a brother and sister they are helping each other in studying and in the third picture you can see a child is there in the ground he fell down and the next one to that child is helping that child to get up he has a first aid box in his hand what are the items in the first aid box yes you know cotton bandages scissors hmm? detol pillows creams medicines in the second picture you can see children are helping in the household they are washing dishes they are hanging clothes and uh, helping elders okay now may i ask do you like to help others how did you help others can you say any of the experience that you helped others and you became very happy helping others is a very good thing and you should do it often right so when you help a person do you expect anything in return we should never expect anything we should do our favor wholeheartedly and we should never expect anything return while helping okay before going to the chapter elves and the shoemaker let me ask you some questions do you like cinemas have you watched cinemas how many of you see cinema what do you see in the cinema yes a story 
who all are there on the screen yes you can see actors actresses co-actors co-actresses then comedians villains right sing dancers who are behind the curtain not on the screen off screen yes technicians light mans camera mans hmm? sound engineers playback singers what may be the arrangements that they have done earlier oh that's a huge process a huh? film making now observe this picture carefully what is in the picture can you list the items in the picture who is making the shoes yes the one who makes shoes is called a shoe maker right now i am repeating what do you see in the picture yes a man and woman a cupboard on the back of the table behind the table there are some shoes on the ground a table a chair two hammers on the table right you observe the picture carefully and you saw many things in the picture and related to this picture we are going to study the one act play else and the shoemaker for the first time you are hearing the one act play right so let me introduce some things in a one act play there will be a narrator have you heard about narrator narrator is the person who tells the story narrator is the person who gives an introduction to the characters and events happening in the play now let's look on to the characters of this one act play of course one character is narrator and then shoemaker shoemaker's wife mr thomas boot customer 1 customer 2 customer 3 and two elves okay dear friends are you ready to go through the chapter elves and the shoemaker read along with me scene 1 the shoemaker's home a large table which the shoemaker works at and a chair by it on the table are scattered a knife two hammers four chisels a few needles and a few pieces of leather there is a large cupboard behind the table the shoemaker is seated at the table and his wife is beside him The narrator enters from the right side of the stage. Scatter. Chidari kadakaga. We use the word scatter when objects are thrown or placed randomly over any place. Now, look at the picture of the shoemaker's room. What do you see in the picture? Can you name the things? Now complete the sentences choosing words from the box. See on the table you can see many things two hammers a knife and a chisel what do you mean by chisel uli knife katti hammer chuttiga now you have to familiarize three words on in and under on means adinde mugalil in uli under taale There is a knife on the table. May shade a mugadil or a katti under. There are two hammers on the table. Now see the next question. There is a flower pot. Flower pot. Where is the flower pot? It is in the corner of the room. There is a flower pot in the corner of the room. There is a cat. Where is the cat? Under the stool. stool in the thare there is a cat under the stool there is a kitten under the table what about the next question there is a pair of shoes pair of shoes where can you see the pair of shoes yes it's in the cupboard there is a pair of shoes in the cupboard there is a picture picture is seen in the wall on the wall right there is a picture on the wall there is a clock on the wall there are a few books in the cupboard there is a chisel on the table 
ചീസൽ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഉള്ളി നോ ലെറ്റ്സ് കണ്ടിന്യൂ റീഡിങ് ദ വൺ ആക്ട് പ്ലേ നറേറ്റർ കംസ് റൈറ്റ് ഹായ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ഡു യു നോ വൈ ഐ എം ഹ്യൂ ഐ ഹാവ് എ സ്റ്റോറി ടു ടെൽ യു വൺസ് ദ ലീവ്ഡ് എ ഷൂ മേക്കർ ആൻഡ് ഹിസ് വൈഫ് ഇൻ എ ലിറ്റിൽ ഹൗസ് ഓൺ ദ എഡ്ജ് ഓഫ് എ വുഡ് ദ വർ വെരി വെരി പുവർ ആൻഡ് ഈച്ച് ഡേ ദ ഗ്രൂ poorer and poorer at last there was nothing left in the house but leather for just one pair of shoes the narrator exits okay now students let me invite your attention to a line from the previous passage the narrator enters from the right side of the stage i already told you elsa and the shoemaker it's a one act play and uh, it's happening in a stage right so you can see here it's a stage you can see front middle back and uh, left and right sides of the stage these are the main parts in a stage here narrator enters from the right side of the stage next paragraph shoemaker no customer comes to us shoemaker's wife our trade is failing how shall we leave in brackets a knock is heard on the door shoemaker it might be a customer shoemaker's wife at this hour in brackets she opens the door the owner of the shop mr thomas boot enters bracket closed shoemaker good evening sir please sit down mr boot i am here not to sit you owe me a hundred pounds in rent shoemaker's wife we will pay you in a month's time please be kind to us mr boot be kind not a chance that's not my way shoemaker you have no heart sir mr boot pay up your rent in 2 weeks or i will close down your shop in brackets mr boot exits shoemaker's wife we have to work hard we must not lose our shop we have to make more shoes shoemaker sadly that's what we cannot do this leather will make just a pair of shoes tomorrow i will stitch it all together i'm tired i must sleep let's go to bed they exit blackout now you have read the passage and can you answer what is the tension of the shoemaker's family yes they were basically poor and it was time to pay their rent they had no customers their shoe making shop was a failure who knocked the door mr thomas boot knocked the door who is mr boot what is mr boot's demand mr boot is the owner of the shoe making shop his demand is to pay what they owe why does mr boot ask for money why can't the shoe maker make more shoes that was the problem they had only leather left for making one pair of shoes underline the sentence which means sir we need more time to pay the rent shoe makers wife says we will pay you in a month's time please be kind to us and does the owner give more time no first he was very strict and he just gave them 2 weeks time to pay the rent why does the shoe maker say sir you have no heart that is because mr thomas boot was not kind he was very strict with them he didn't gave them more time to pay the rent which line or lines tell or tells you that mr boot is angry yes those lines are first time he said i am not here to sit i am here to collect my rent and later he said i will give you only 2 weeks time if you didn't pay the rent this time i will close your shop 
Leather is skin of an animal made into durable material by tanning. Skin of goat, pigs and cows are often used to make leather. We often use leather products, bag, shoes, etc. Pound is the unit of mass or we can say weight. One pound is equal to 16 ounces. Now let's move on to the next scene. Scene 2. The narrator enters. Narrator. But while they slept, strange things happened. Some people came, tiptoeing to their workshop. Who were they? In brackets, the narrator exits. Two elves enter. They move to the table, take the leather pieces and start stitching the shoes. They sing as they work. Their movements are in tune with the song. In the dim blue light, they cannot be seen clearly. This is how we make a shoe. Snip, 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 you. Pull the thread right in and through. Snip, 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 you. This is how we make a shoe. Snip, 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 you. Snip means to cut. Murikiga. Sew means stitch. Pinnijerkiga. What made the elves help the shoemaker? Where do you think the elves come from? You know, shoemaker and his wife were basically poor and elves decided to help this shoemaker and his wife. And they snip and sew shoes for this shoemaker. We don't know from where is this elves coming from. We can just guess they are coming from a far place. Right? We don't know the place. They are coming from a good place because they are helping this shoemaker and his wife. Elves. Kutti Chatanmar. They are supernatural creatures. Scene 3. When the stage is lit, light falls on a pair of shining smart brown shoes kept on the table. The shoemaker and his wife enter. He sees the shoes and exclaims. Shoemaker. Wow! It's a miracle! The leather has been made into a pair of beautiful shoes. Shoemaker's wife. Surprised. I can't believe this. Who made this? Customer 1 enters. Customer 1. I would like to have a pair of dark brown shoes. Do you have such a pair? Shoemaker. Of course, sir. We have one right here. Customer 1. What size are those shoes? Shoemaker. They are size 10, sir. He hands the shoes over to the customer. The customer tries them on. Customer 1. They are perfect. What's the price? Shoemaker. 10 pounds. Customer 1. Only 10 pounds? But they are so well made. I will give you 15. Shoemaker. Oh sir, that's very kind of you. Customer exits with the shoes. Shoemaker's wife. 15 pounds? We can buy leather for 6 pair of shoes. The narrator enters. Narrator. The customer recommended the shoemaker to all his friends. The shoemaker bought more leather. And while they slept that night, the elves came. In brackets, in the dim blue light, enter two elves. They climb on the table and start working. They sing as they work. Recommend. It's an action. If you tell somebody a product is good or you should try it, then we can say you are recommending that product. Shubharsha Jayuga. Read the following dialogue from the play. Customer 1. I would like to have a pair of dark brown shoes. Do you have such a pair? Shoemaker. 
Of course, sir. We have one right here. Customer one. What size are those shoes? Shoemaker. They are size 10, sir. Now let's look on to some customer conversations. They are dialogues. What do the customers talk? Make sentences from the table and write them. How much is that bag? That's too expensive. What size is that camera? Can I take a look at this jacket? I will take those shoes. Now look at these questions. What will happen when the shoemakers go to sleep? Who are they or that people need seen to? What will they do when they enter the room? What will they do while they work? What are their movements? Can they see clearly? Why? See, when the shoemaker and his wife goes to sleep, there comes two elves. And what are they doing? They are, yes, snipping and sewing some shoes. Some good pairs of shoes, right? Their movements are not seen clearly. They are in dim blue light. What is the speciality of their working style? Yes, they were singing while working, right? Which was the song? This is how we make a shoe. Snip, 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 shoe. Pull the thread right in and through. Snip, 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 shoe. This is how we make a shoe. Snip, 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 shoe. Snip, 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 shoe. What made the elves help the shoemaker? The shoemakers were in need of help. It's, it's a good thing to help those who are in need. Where do you think the elves come from? The elves are small imaginary creatures with pointed ears. They have some magical powers. This is how we make a shoe. Snip, 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 shoe. Pull the thread right in and through. Snip, 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 shoe. With a tip tap here and a tip tap there. Here's a tap, there's a tap. Everywhere a tap, tap. This is how we make a shoe. Snip, 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 shoe. Now answer these questions. How many characters in scene 3? Who are they? Yes, in scene 3 you can see shoemaker, shoemaker's wife and the customer one. Then finally the narrator. What is the miracle happened in scene 3? Yes, in scene 3 there comes two elves and they are just doing a perfect job of making perfect shoes, beautiful shoes. Just the customer happy with shoes? Why? Customer was really happy because that shoes was very perfect. How much money did the shoemaker ask? You know, the shoemaker asked 10 pounds. And how much did the customer give? He gave him 15 pounds. Right? So he was really satisfied. So let's conclude this question. What made the customer pay more for the shoes? The shoes were very pretty. Or maybe the reason is they felt really comfortable wearing them. Or maybe the customer was rich. They were rich. Or they felt sympathy towards the shoekeeper. Because shoekeeper and his wife were really poor. They can see by looking at their lifestyle. So maybe... Because they were poor. Scene 4. The next morning, enter the shoemaker and his wife. They are surprised to see six 
pairs of shoes on the table. Shoemaker, oh my, six pairs of shoes. Shoemaker's wife, again, wow, they are pretty too. Who is sewing all these shoes? Shoemaker, I don't know what's going on. In brackets, customers enter the shop as soon as the shop maker opens the door. Customer 2. A woman. Oh, these are lovely shoes, dear. I would like to buy them. Customer 3. A man. Yes, they are. And look at this. Customer 2. They look great. Customer 3. A man. Looking at the shoemaker. We will take both these pairs. Shoemaker, of course, thank you very much, sir. Exit customers, shoemaker and his wife. The narrator enters. Narrator, the shoemaker sold the shoes straight away. Days passed. Each day the shoemaker bought more leather. And the next morning he found new shoes. Soon the shoemaker became rich. The narrator exits. The shoemaker and his wife enter. Now they are dressed in fine, costly clothes. Shoemaker's wife. We must find out who is helping us. Shoemaker. You are right. Let's stay up one night and find out who does it all. Shoemaker's wife. We must give him a gift. Shoemaker. Let's give him a good feast. Shoemaker's wife. Definitely. Blackout. Will the elves make shoes forever? What will the shoemaker do if the elves stop coming? I don't think the elves will make them shoes forever. Because elves helped them in their critical situation. Now they are rich. Right. So, they will stop helping and leave it behind to Shoemaker and his wife. And also, if the elves will stop coming to Shoemaker's house, then if Shoemaker is a bad person, he will do something bad, something dangerous like prisoning elves or compelling, forcing the elves to do the job. If he is a good person, I think he will lead a good life by making shoes. Scene 5. The shoemaker's wife lays the table with food and drink. Then she and the shoemaker hide in the cupboard. The light dims out. The narrator enters. Narrator. They stayed awake. One hour went by and a few more. The clock struck two, then three, then four. Suddenly they came, the two little elves. Two elves enter. They sit on the table and start working. The shoemaker and his wife peep from the cupboard. This is how we make a shoe. Snip, 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 you. This is how we make a shoe. Snip, 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 you. The shoemaker and his wife came out of the hiding place and greet the elves. Shoemaker, we don't know how to thank you. The shoes you make are just the best. Shoemaker's wife, how do you work so quickly and make such beautiful shoes? Elf one, we just work. Helping others is our pleasure. 
else too. But we cannot do it anymore now. There are others like you who are in need. We are going to them from tomorrow onwards. Elf 1 Yes, this will be our final visit and this our final shoe. Shoemaker, won't you come from tomorrow onwards? Shoemaker's wife, but why? Elf 1 We helped you when you were in need. Now you can work hard and live happily. The shoemaker moves to the side of the room with his wife. Shoemaker, angrily, what did they say? I will not let them go. Shoemaker's wife, but they will be leaving today. Shoemaker, pointing at the elves at work, look, they are making beautiful shoes. I can't make such perfect shoes. I have only one way left. Shoemaker's wife, surprised. What's that? Shoemaker, I will never let them go. I will make them my slaves. Go and close all the doors and windows. Shoemaker's wife moves closer to her husband, holds his hands together. Don't you remember those days? We couldn't pay the rent. Those days of insult, even without food. Shoemaker, we will go back to those days if they stop coming. Shoemaker's wife, no dear, it will never happen. They have helped us a lot, made us rich. We shouldn't be this greedy. Greedy people can never be happy. Shoemaker, thoughtful, yes, I shouldn't be that greedy. I should be thankful. The shoemaker and his wife look at the elves. The elves finish their work and hand over the shoes to the shoemaker. This is our last shoe. We are leaving. Shoemaker's wife, we will always be thankful to you. Shoemaker, we will work hard and live. Shoemaker's wife, you taught us how to make marvelous shoes and you are leaving now. Shoemaker, this is your last visit. Let's have our dinner. The shoemaker hands the food and drink to the elves. They eat and drink merrily, happily. Shoemaker's wife, we will keep your memory alive. They move towards the window. Elf 1, thank you so much. The food and the drink was good. Elf 2, your shop is famous now. Work hard and you will have good fortune forever. Exit the elves. The shoemaker and his wife wave them goodbye. The narrator enters. Narrator. The elves skipped through the window and disappeared. They never came back. The shoemaker and his wife worked hard and they lived happily ever after. Blackout. Why did the shoemaker decide to make the elves his slaves? Why did he change his decision? The shoemaker decided to make the elves his slaves because he heard that they were leaving and this was their final visit and that was their final shoe. Shoemaker afraid that the return of elves will seriously affect the business of their shop. So he decided to make them his slaves. Shoemaker didn't knew to make the beautiful shoes, perfect shoes like elves did. So he was afraid and he thought his business will go down and it will affect his condition. At what time did the elves come? What do the elves say about helping others? 
helping others is a pleasure how do you know that the shoemaker is greedy we know that shoemaker had a thought of making the elves his slaves so we can say he is a greedy person who is more thankful shoemaker or the wife of course shoemaker's wife was more thankful because she was the one who drive away the thought of making the elves his slave the shoemaker is a selfish man do you agree with this yes on the first thought he decided to make the elves his slaves so we can say he is a selfish man he only thinks about him and his family he only want his family to be happy and rich all the time he doesn't care about the freedom or rights of the elves shoemaker welcome sir please be seated mr boot thank you wow you have changed a lot there are a lot of shoes around here the shop looks all new how did you manage shoemaker it's luck and hard work sir the rent is ready sir mr boot hmm that's great i can't believe it all happened in two weeks time shoemaker that's correct there are people sir who helped us when we were in need here's your rent mr boot thank you it's a pleasure wish you good luck <laughs>